Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia. I am so excited to have you here. Today's video is going to be a shop my closet or I also call it my Pinterest inspiration outfit video. Essentially what I do is I take an image from Pinterest or Instagram or wherever. Today it happens to be Pinterest and I try to recreate it using items that I already have in my closet. If you are new to my channel, my content is centered all around fashion and style for the woman over the age of 50. I am a firm believer that life is way too short to live without style. I post one to two times a week, so if you're into it, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to join the family and so that you don't miss a thing. All right, today's video. Now, I've only done this once. I had a lot of fun doing it and you seem to also have a lot of fun watching it because I did receive a lot of comments back saying that this was fun and that you wanted to see more. What this idea is all about is essentially to use the clothes that you have in order to come up with outfits that you're inspired by on social media outlets like Pinterest, blogs, Instagram, things like that. You don't want to have to buy any more new clothes. You want to leverage everything that you have, which is also called slow fashion these days. So that's what it's all about. For today's video, I am focused on a blogger. Her name is I am Beauty Curve. That's her Instagram handle. And I stumbled across this photograph on Pinterest and I really really liked it. This was when I was shopping for a pleated skirt and I was obsessed with pleated skirts and so I saw this image. I thought she was beautiful. I really loved her look. I like how she pulled it all together. So I threw it into my inspiration folder and have decided to use it for today's video. Let's break down the elements of this outfit. She's wearing a brown or cognac pleated skirt. She's got a white cami on that she's tucked in. She has a black blazer she has very minimal jewelry. Her purse also has very, very clean lines. So she is sticking to something very, very classic, very clean. She is color blocking. And what I mean by that is she's using neutrals to block color. She's got black, she's got white, she's got brown. She is popping the outfit a little bit with a pair of strappy sandals. They appear to have a leopard print on them, which I think is really, really nice. It's a great way to kind of pop the outfit with a little bit of pattern because she's wearing nothing but solids. Okay, so that's what I have to work with. Let's go ahead and break down the items that I have for today. I'm going to start out with the skirt. The skirt is this beautiful pleated skirt that I purchased from Boohoo and it only cost me, I think it was like $18, $19. I love this skirt so much. I love the color. So yeah, I'm not going with a solid skirt, but you know, I do capture the actual silhouette because it is a pleated skirt. So even though it's printed, I don't feel that I'm cheating too much because I've got the pleated skirt and that's really the key to this outfit. The next thing is a white shirt. So I don't own a white cami. So instead I am going to use this white t-shirt that I have from Everlane. I really like it. So I am going to cheat just a little more and go with that. But at the very least I have captured a little bit of that color blocking in that I've got a white top very similar to the inspiration picture. The blazer that she's wearing doesn't have a collar. I do not have a collarless blazer, but I do have a solid black blazer. So this is what I will be using for my outfit today. This is a blazer that I purchased from Cabby eons ago. It is a Ponty knit blazer. It has a really nice, I think it's called a bracelet length sleeve. That is going to be my topper for this look. As for bags, well actually let me start out with shoes. So I do not have a pair of strappy sandals. I don't own a pair, but what I do have is I've got these beautiful pair of slingback platform peep toe heels that I think will look really, really good with the outfit. I will be showing a little bit of my toes. I am going to be showing a majority of my foot in these. Plus the shoe that she has has an ankle strap and being petite, that's one of the reasons I don't have a sandal like that because as a petite, um, I don't like wearing things with ankle straps necessarily if they're going to be showing because they will make me look shorter. But I do have this guy here and this will actually help to elongate my leg because it is fully open. There's no ankle strap. I have an oldie but a goodie. This is actually a small, I think it's called a mini shopper from Coach that I bought years ago. Not quite the same as what is in the picture. What she's got is a lot more structured, but I figured this is along the same lines, along the same spirit because it does have a short handle for you to carry in your hand. It's not patent 
like the shoes, but it is black. So, you know, even though you've got different finishes, you've got the same color, so it's it's tying together. And I think it'll look really good with the overall look. As for jewelry, she doesn't have a whole lot of jewelry on in her outfit. She kept the accessories to a minimum. She's got her hair over her ear, so I can't quite tell what she's wearing on her ears. I'm gonna go ahead and skip earrings then, that being the case. But she is wearing a necklace. I can't tell what the necklace is, but it does have a pretty bold pendant. So I am going for a rose gold pendant I received as a gift. It's a big lion and I've got it on a rose gold chain from Monica Vinander. And then for the watch, I am going to be wearing my uh, chrono watch. It's a guest watch. Uh, it is also in rose gold. It is very similar to what she's got in the picture. So let me go ahead and put these clothes on. I will show you the outfit and then we'll talk about it. Overall, this is the look. I really like the way that it turned out, even though I don't have a solid pleated skirt. I love this skirt a whole lot more than, <laughs> than even that brown skirt. You know, I really love the pattern. And I have to say that I really like how this pulls together. I think this is a great look for like an office party or um, going out for drinks with the girls. Even though you've got a blazer on, it really elevates the look. And I think that it really pulls it together in a very very neat way. It's a really cool juxtaposition of very structured corporate like and something very flowy and feminine. I think that I have captured the spirit of the look at least from what I'm seeing I have. I really like the way the entire thing works together even with the bag. Even though the bag isn't patent like my shoes they're still black so you've got tone on tone and you've got an interesting mix of textures. Same thing with the skirt and the blazer. The skirt is very shiny and satin and the blazer is very formal and corporate and you've got a really really nice juxtaposition of styles and textures with this look honestly I would so wear this out I think I will wear this out as a matter of fact because I think that it is a stunning look I think it's a great reproduction at least in my opinion you might think I cheated a little bit because the skirt has a print I think it actually adds a little bit more visual interest. Just my own opinion of it. So let me know in the comments down below, did I nail it or did I cheat too much? I would really, really love to know. I think that's all that I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't done it already. And remember to always live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.